Hey everyone, I know it's been a while. Um, I wanted to get on here um, for some of those who follow me on Instagram. Um, I wanted to give an update because I did make a video and I haven't made a video in so long. Um, so hi everyone. Um, so today, um, Adrian and I had decided to do a consultation um, with my nurse practitioner, Amber. Um, she specializes in fertility at my clinic um, and just catching everybody up. Um, we were on medication um, for three cycles, I want to say. Um, one cycle was 50 the 50 milligrams of Clomid, the other cycle was 100, and then the third cycle was Fumara, um, 50 milligrams. Um, with all unsuccessful pregnancies, but um, I did ovulate every one. Um, however, I'm not sure um, how my follicles looked the second and third um, cycles because I didn't get ultrasounds. I only got an ultrasound for the first cycle. Um, and she had mentioned how I only produce one egg, which wasn't, it's not bad, but it's not good because she wants more than one egg. So, um, that's her goal. And I also didn't take the trick or shot those cycles. So we talked about IUI. That's the uh, reason why that we went in initially to speak about IUI and she said that IUI isn't the best um, step to take next in her recommendation um, obviously if we decided to do the IUI she wouldn't say no she just recommends us to do a cycle with medication and the trigger shot because we haven't took the trigger shot um, she also said that even though I'm getting positive ovulations for the strips doesn't mean my egg is releasing. I might be just producing the hormone, but no release of an egg. Um, I really wanted to jump into IUI and I even mentioned it to my husband Adrian just before he went to work because I don't know, I guess I'm anxious for it. But like she said, the percentage isn't that much of an increase compared to us trying out the trigger shot and the medication together and having time intercourse um so she thinks that it's a cheaper route and she said that sorry this music's probably loud she said it's a cheaper route and she said um if it doesn't work we can go into the iui um adrian also thinks it's probably best to do that we did talk to her however about iui so IUI would be done there in their clinic, um, but there's different steps with IUI. So it's medication is given, either Clomid or Fumara. Um, the trigger shot is taken, um, and then before the procedure is done, I have to take him, me and Adrian. Adrian and I have to go so we can give them a sample at the University of Michigan, I wanna say. Um, so that they can wash his sperm. So what they do is they wash it and they separate the bad from the good sperm. Um, and then they give it to us and we take it into the appointment with us. So that um, the prices um, are obviously more because the procedure is like 400, she said. Um, and then that's um, aside from the university, what they're gonna charge for the sperm washing. Um, and then also the trigger shot and the medication. The medication's not a lot from our own Clomid, only like $10 that I've gotten it. Um, the trigger shot is the most expensive. Um, she recommended some different fertility um, clinics, um, pharmacies. Um, that's what, not fertility clinics. Um, pharmacies, specialty pharmacies to us because Rite Aid was going to charge us, I told her, $202 for the trigger shot. That's why we didn't get it last time. And she said that there's other clinics, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep saying clinics, pharmacies that don't charge that much. So she gave me a list of those and I just called, um, one of them gave me the prices and another couldn't release them to me without um, prescription. So, yeah, just all the information for you guys. <laughs> um, 
I know that God is in control, um, no matter what. And this whole time, um, we haven't really been focusing on it. It's not our focus point. Um, we know it's gonna happen. Um, we've been like redecorating, you know, doing our basement, um, just focusing our, on our relationship, taking care of us, our health, my health. Um, so all those things adding up to now and the months are going by. So um, we know that this is what we want. We know it is in God's time. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with us. We went to our doctor today um, and I'm on day 12 of my cycle. Day 13, I'm on day 13 of my cycle. I posted on my Instagram, um, my TTC Instagram that I am not ovulating. I took ovulation test and um, I got a negative. Um, and my CM um, is creamy, um, lotion-like. Um, for all those who don't know CM um, or what that means <laughs> for the TTC community, they do trying to conceive community. Um, it means your cervical mucus. So. There's different stages that a woman's cervical mucus takes. Um, some people notice there's more than others. Um, and I've been taking a fertility tea, um, not faithfully or consistently, I'm guilty. Um, but since that, my husband and I um, got back from visiting his sister, my sister-in-law in Kansas City, I started taking it. I missed a couple days and today I'm back on. So um, I also, mentioned in my Instagram post that I noticed with taking those teas that my mucus does change like dramatically um, it's more noticeable so cervical mucus has a part to play in this whole trying to conceive <laughs> um, conceiving a baby process because it's what holds the sperm and helps the sperm move to the egg so it's a lot of uh, a lot of things that go into it and a lot of people don't see I never really thought about it I didn't at all until now until we're trying to conceive so if you didn't know now you know <laughs> um, for anybody out there that is um, on this journey also I've connected with awesome amazing women I've heard great stories I've heard um, I've seen people get pregnant that couldn't get pregnant with PCOS I do not have PCOS however Ours is just unexplained infertility, um, and you can. I've seen people get pregnant. I've seen people take the natural. I've seen take people take medications. Um, so it's just everyone's different. Um, what works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me. But I believe in the end, um, it's God's timing. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And I just wanted to come on here, like I said, because I haven't been on for so long. We took a little break, um, but now we're just taking the next steps that we need to take. And I wanted to tell you all, I haven't really been open to anybody right now. Um, just because I kind of withdrew from that whole scene. <laughs> from the whole scene. <laughs> no, I was just taking a break, like I said. Not trying to focus on it and just letting it happen. But Adrian's birthday's coming up. Um, it's tomorrow. <laughs> He'll be 32. I'm 31. And we're trying to get these babies out as soon as possible. So thank you all for staying tuned, for um, praying for us, uh, for your prayers, for your support, for your kind words. Um, forgive me if I'm emotional when you ask me questions. <laughs> um, I'm not pregnant yet, but I'm trying to get pregnant, so it can be overwhelming if my mindset's not like clear. Um, and just thank you, thank you for your support. Anybody um, out here, there. Th the reason why I made this YouTube um, was for emotional support. It's like therapeutic and also to help other women because I was very encouraged um, when I started this whole journey to start this whole journey because of other women that I've seen that were vulnerable um, that were open and just really had their guards down and, and um, 
it's an awesome thing so yeah I hope my journey helps you out there and like I said I've recently connected to some great women who I know that my journey and being vulnerable has helped so that's awesome and that's rewarding in itself um, so yeah until next time I'll let you guys know like I said I'm on day 13 of my cycle um, she said my nurse practitioner said to call her day one of my cycle of next cycle um, because right now it's too late um, to do anything and Adrian and I are going to save um, for the ultrasound which is $160 that she recommends um, obviously the Clomid from our medication part is not that expensive it's only $10 um, but then the trigger shot um, can be anywhere from 65 to 100 or so dollars so we're saving for that and then I'll let you guys know what happens so blessings and have a good day